Greetings. Today we're going to talk about how a water bottle can actually help you get the correct angle of approach when hitting a driver. Hi, I'm Ken Martin, PGA member and golf program instructor here at Kaiser University. If you haven't done so yet, be certain to, to subscribe to our channel uh, for all the new videos that are coming out. So, water bottle, swinging up. So with a driver, uh, typically, when you're looking for optimizing distance, we're always better off making certain that the golf uh, club head is actually ascending through impact. Now we can do that because a golf ball is sitting on a tee. And when a ball is on a tee up in the air, we can actually make a descending, an ascending angle through impact. And what that will help us do is launch this ball high and minimize the amount of spin that's on it. So basically it's high launch, low spin. Uh, it will carry further and roll further when it lands. So if you're looking to optimize distance, ascending angles are fantastic with a driver. So the best feedback uh, is the type that uh, you get instantly. Uh, instant feedback and accurate is very important. So what I'm going to have you do here is we can use a water bottle. If it's real windy outside, uh, you'll want to have a little bit of water in it so it doesn't blow away. Uh, here we're indoors. Anyway, this bottle does happen to have water in it. But I'm going to put this about a foot and a half out in front of uh, the T and it's directly on the target line and what I suggest in the beginning is that you just make a few practice swings to get yourself oriented to the fact that this golf club is literally now going to be going up through impact and it's going to be going up high enough to be able to swing over the water bottle that's out in front sometimes when we put a barrier in front like this it makes it a lot easier to be able to uh, sense the depth that we're actually swinging. So we definitely want the bottom of the swing arc to be before impact. We're going to gather the golf ball on the way up through impact and then we're going to keep that club moving up uh, so that it goes over the water bottle. So a few practice swings can give you that feeling. Uh, I like to just clip the tee when I hit and always making certain that I have a sense for the club moving up through impact. You can then hit golf balls uh, with this drill. Sorry about that, gonna grab the tee. But if you do hit golf balls doing this drill, I highly recommend you use face tape uh, or some kind of spray powder so that you can see where you're actually striking the ball on the face. Uh, if you're swinging up and you don't have it teed high enough, you may start gathering the golf ball off the bottom of the club and that defeats the whole purpose. When we hit it towards the bottom, we're actually going to add spin uh, to the ball and the ball won't go our desired optimal distance. So uh, typically you want to be striking the ball in the center of the face, maybe slightly above center, even though you're swinging up at it, and that'll give you the optimal flight. So you've got to check, check that, but the only way to check that is with face tape or some kind of a spray powder on there. So give the water bottle a try. Uh, if you uh, want to be even more safe, you could use something like a pool noodle. Pool noodles are nice because you're not going to hurt anything uh, if you happen to swing down and crash into the pool noodle. But it's pretty clear that if you're swinging up through impact, you'll miss the noodle. If you're swinging down through impact, then most likely you'll gather the noodle on the descent. So water bottle, pool noodle, swing up to optimize distance. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.